Stetson RPB wheelchair is a living legend. He's the only man to win 10 clips for Monarch titles, the mastermind behind classic songs such as Raga Raga, and he remains relevant to this day, winning the People's Monarch title for Crop Over 2015. Music Rocks was honoured to sit down with the St. Philip Hero for a special interview. Welcome back to another edition of Music Rocks. We're here with Man of the Moment, Mr. Red Blasted Mike. How's it going, man? Uh, going great. Pleasure. So to start things off, I want to talk about the name. Where did the name like Red Blasted Mike come from? Well, I'm, I'm not surprised that that's the first uh, question you <laughs> ask. Everybody go across the world, whenever there's an interview, people want to know why Red Blasted Mike. When I was preparing for my first competition in St. Philip uh, in 1979, strangely enough, it was a competition just for fun and they had only four people two weeks before the competition and I decided, you know, we need to have at least five. So I entered the competition as the fifth person and I had no stage name. Well, I went to the beach and I came back all burnt in the sun and a nephew looked at me and he said, you look like a red pastor bag. I found it very funny <laughs> and he said, you know what, that's the name that I want. I want the red pastor bag. Okay, so being a pioneer of a genre that is mainly endorsed by a Caribbean audience, how would you go about changing that reality and ultimately globalizing the genre? I believe that, that one of the things we need to do is to look at the way we approach our music and not just make our music um, only linked to festivals. We are primarily making music that is linked to the festivals. The festival is driving the music and not the other way around. It really, we, we, the music should be driving the festival and not the festival driving the music. The reason why the songs are the way they are is because we are making music to fit what the festival is all about. And the festival is all about fat, road, the costumes, the whining and going down and, and so on. But if we can make music that does not necessarily focus on only what goes on in the festival, the topic will be broader and can be accepted more internationally. Definitely. I'm an artist who's known for many hits, but to me, you're most known for your hit Raga Raga. So tell me about the Raga Raga era, how the song came about, the impact it had on you, on people. Tell us about that. But there's a major story around Raga Raga, which is the truth. There was a club in the Gap called After Dark. And uh, we used to frequent After Dark. After Dark was the number one club at the time in Barbados. I went into After Dark and I, I, I heard a song. I believe it was by Tiger um, at the time. And people started jumping and singing the song. And I was like, I cannot understand exactly what this guy is saying. But people were singing it, you know? And I couldn't understand what they were saying in any case either, but they were singing the song. And I said, well, this song is obviously huge. So I said, you know what, this DJ is going to play the song again. So I moved closer to the speaker um, to see if I can, I would be able to understand what was going on. So I played again, I didn't understand. I said, you know what, this is a song, I need to write a song for this. So I went home and I composed this song saying, I don't understand one thing when I try to listen to a dub song. You know, I tried and I tried and I tried. And I decided I'll record the song. Recorded a song, but um, at the time I was recording with Nicholas Branca. And Nicholas loved the song from the beginning. And we um, decided that, you know, it must have a, a dancehall kind of feel, but we need to have the song in there as well. And made the song, it, it was all done in, in, in a bit of a hurry because we just saw it as a fun song. And lo and behold, as you say, it became my biggest song to date. Um, still my biggest song today. Um, everywhere I go across the world, people are still responding to the song um, when they hear it. I went to a bed by after that man, you know that bed was the bed. From the time I reached by the door, I felt a bit like for me in the chair. Since the music is really sweet, you know I just can't deny. Young and the old just thinking it's the nut, you don't care how I try. All I hear. With this being the blue, yellow, black edition of Music Rock, so I want to ask you a patriotic question. What does Barbados mean to you? Barbados means a whole lot to me. As a Barbadian, um, what a Barbadian is all about. Barbadian, a, a Barbadian is all about love. Um, caring, 
Um, we are, we are great people. I think that when you look at Barbados and see what we have achieved for a small country with the resources that we have, what little. I mean, um, it, it's clear that our resources, our, our, resor our biggest resources, really the people. You know, being an artist who has achieved so much and earned many accolades, what future plans do you have for your artistry to further develop RPB? Well, I, I am. I'm a, still a fairly young fella. <laughs> uh, I, I don't see myself being off the stage um, in any hurry, but I can see myself moving away from um, the actual competitions. What I want to be able to do um, as I go on is to take my music, that I've, I've already created a whole lot of music, go back, revisit the music, and, and try to see how I can get the music published and, and, um, and, and used in different ways um, to be able to, to, all that music that was created all the, in all those years, to be able to still keep it out there, make sure that people hear it, make sure that people are, are, are able to, to learn more about, about, um, about it, some of the things that I've said in some of my songs, because I believe that Akalipson is a historian. Uh, based on the social commentary, you can, you can trace all the things that were going on in a particular time in the country based on the songs, the type of songs that that, um, that are made. And I want to be, I want my music to, to remain, um, you know, um, out there and people to understand um, that I, I make music for them and not necessarily for me.